What do I need to know before traveling to Italy? Part 2. Today, I will continue with our series of videos with five more things you need to know before traveling to Italy. If you haven't seen the first video, I will leave the link, uh, I will leave the link below. And it's important that you check the first part of this series, okay? If you don't know me, I'm Ana Patricia from the blog yourtraveltoitaly.com. I'm a Brazilian uh, and I have been living in Italy for 20 years. I have been working with Brazilian tourists in Italy for 10 years and now I'm also working with other nationalities. Subscribe to our channel for more tips every week. So let's go to our video. The first tip is about food. It's normally about chibo, wine, gelato and pasta. A trip to Italy is not a complete trip uh, if you don't take it, uh, if you don't make the most of each place, like in trying the local wine, eat at the best restaurants and the best gelato places in, in the country and in every city that you are visiting. So check the link for these posts in the description box. So, I have a lot of posts in my blog about food in Italy. Check the link in the description box, okay? So, the Italian pasta is wonderful and every place in Italy has its local sauce. When you go to your restaurant, ask the waiter for the typical dishes of that city. Try the typical dishes and you will enjoy them a lot because each dishes follow the season and the seasonal ingredients. And another important thing is that the wine in Italy is very cheap. So check with the airline how many bottles of wine you can take home and try to bring some to your country. Uh, it will save a lot, a lot of money. There are specific bags to carry wines. See this information on our blog. I will leave the link also in the description of this video. The second tip is about consulates. In case of emergency, always uh, contact the consulates of your country in Italy. These consulates are usually in Milan and Rome. Before arriving in Italy, search for the address and the telephone number of the consulates. We will never know what can happen on, uh, on a trip, so have these contacts on hand, okay? And you always have in your wallet the card uh, with the address and the telephone number of the hotel where you are staying. If something happens, people will know where to find information about you. It's so important. Be careful when carrying your passport. Use a money bag that pack that is reading under your clothes. And avoid taking your passport out of the money bag. Carry a copy of these documents in your wallet. A simple copy is sufficient if you are carrying your passport with you, okay? Uh, it's important to say that it's common for pickpockets to be in the main Italian city, so Pay attention mailing in Rome, Naples, Florence, and the cities in the south like Catania and Palermo. Really, pay attention. The next tip is Voltage in Italy, 2020 votes. Be aware of this and if, and if necessary, bring an adapter before coming. Some years ago, my mother brought a brander from Brazil and I was very, very, very happy. I put in the socket and automatically it, it burned. Always look before turning all your appliances. Next tip, the seasons. The seasons are generally well defined. We have, we have here in Italy the Four seasons. Uh, do your research and bring the appropriate the clothes for each season. On our blog, I have a post about how to dress 
during each season. So go in our blog uh, to read about it. Remember that with every change of season, uh, the weather is, is unstable. So should be aware of that. It's important to know that the months which uh, rain the most are up. October and November with an average of 80 to 20 rains uh, days uh, per month. But it's a fast rain. But it's rains. Bring appropriate the clothes and the shoes always in this kind of uh, weather here in Italy. Next time zone and our last tip for today is time zone. Normally, there is confusion with these schedules, especially when you talk to our friends and the family at the home. Uh, so go to sleep early and you woke, woke up every uh, and you woke up early the next day, uh, full of energy to enjoy your trip to Italy. To finish our video, uh, I recommend you to visit our blog yourtravitoitaly.com where you can find a lot of useful information about Italy. And if you haven't liked the video, do it now. Also, leave your comment below about things you should like to know about Italy. And thank you so much and see you on our next video. Bye bye. Uh, um, baci della mia Italia. Bye bye. <laughs>